so it's it's about sort of very sensitively bringing the two things together and making sure that one does not take over the other and that this sense of the sense of um you know new new and emerging technologies sit with with the history mm. and the design weaving these together <laughs> A lot of the brands you work with are are old, to say the least. I mean, you, you've done like centenary journeys and things like that. How do you take, you know, something like the Royal British Legion um, and then now you're doing this, you know, high tech projection mapping? It's, uh, you know, like how do you how do you sort of go about marrying such an old brand with such a new yeah. sort of experience for people no i think you're absolutely right the royal british legion was 100 years old last year and um you know for the 100 years they they rebranded and uh, i think they look really modern and and fantastic for uh, for something that's 100 years old and i think you know that very much fed so i mean the work we do with the bbc obviously they establish the sort of storytelling what they want to say and the, and the sort of bones at the framework of of the of the event and and sort of we we come come in and sort of decorate it i suppose not only have you got a, a really established brand but you're also in the Royal Albert Hall in London, which is, you know, uh, an iconic piece of architecture, you know, that's also established in, mm. in its age and, and, and beauty for that. And then you're absolutely right. You come and smash in a load of new technology. I didn't know anything about this particular particular war, uh, the Battle of Ypres or actually the third Battle of Ypres, um, until I started looking into it. it. You know, it turned out to be an incredibly horrific battle. But, um, you know, it, it's the reason, one of the, one of fundamentally, the two things that we had to do was set the right tone. And the second one was to bring this piece of history to a younger audience. Mm. Because there was no one, you know, there was no one, no one from World War I, uh, of still alive, there were there were descendants of the families, but no serving, serving um, veterans. So, exactly as you say, it, you know, it, it's it's lost, or you take it into a new dimension mm. where those stories can can live on right in today. And I think there is that sort of thing is that we we don't want to see the technology. The technology has to exist to um, to to to. to, to facilitate what we're trying to say so it's, it's about sort of very sensitively bringing the two things together and making sure that one does not take over the other and that this sense of the sense of um you know new new and emerging technologies sit with with the history mm. and the design weaving these together <laughs> I love that. Uh, starting a company on a dance floor is brilliant. <laughs> but I think you do. There is an element about if you think about these things too much, you will, you won't do them. Mm. So there is a point of going, go on, let's give it a go. What's the worst thing that can happen? It doesn't work. And yes. we all have to go and get jobs. So, you know, it's, it's, it's fine. It, it, it's, it's all good. It's a good way to start.